In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can apply a paper texture effect to your artwork in Procreate for the iPad. And as you can see here in my example, on the right-hand side of the image is the original image over here. And then on the left side of the image over here is how it looks with the paper texture added. So let's go ahead and recreate this effect. I'm going to go back to my gallery and I'm going to create a new document based on the screen size. And what you're going to want to do is, first of all, let me zoom out a little bit so I could have a view of the entire canvas here. What you're going to want to do is download this paper texture that I'll have linked in the description of the video. I'm going to open up my web browser over here. This is the, the texture right here. Go ahead and download it. Tap the button that says free download. This is how it looks when it opens up in a new tab. I'm just going to hold a tap over this image with my finger and I'm going to go to copy image. Give it a second to copy and then I'll come back over here to procreate. And I want to paste this in as a new layer. So I'm going to tap the wrench icon over here. I'm going to go over to add and I'm going to select paste. And it's going to paste that image in there. So now what we want to do is we want to take this texture and make it fit the canvas. So I'm going to come down here and choose freeform. I'm going to make sure I have snapping enabled, both magnetics and snapping. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these little nodes over here and just snap this to the edge of the canvas like that so that now the paper texture fits the canvas perfectly. And then I'll go ahead and turn off snapping because we don't need it anymore after that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is let me come up here to my layers menu. You should see layer one with the uh, paper texture added in. I'm going to tap on this little letter N right here. And what I want to do is this is a list of blend modes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the hard light blend mode right here. And then I'm going to close out of that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to tap this plus icon right here. And I'm going to hold a tap over this layer and then just move it beneath layer one so that it's positioned beneath the paper texture layer. And with that layer active, what you can do now is you can close out of this and grab a brush and start painting. And as you can see, as I paint, it's painting with the paper texture like that. Now let me try a different color just to demonstrate here. I can paint over that like that. And there you go. As you can see, we're painting with the paper texture. Okay, now this method is far from perfect. There's a little, there's a couple of problems here. First of all, if I choose the color black and go like this, it doesn't really look black because what's happening is the color of the paper texture is showing through there. So what we want to do is we want to correct, we want to remove the color information from the paper texture. So let's come up here to the layers menu. Let's select the paper texture, close out of the layers menu, come over here to the adjustments menu, and I want to come over to where it says hue, saturation, and brightness, which is at the very top of the list. And I want to take the saturation slider and bring this all the way down like that. And if you notice, the colors look a little more accurate now, especially the black. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is let's close out of that. And let's come back to the adjustments menu. And now let's do sharpen. This will bring out the texture in the paper a little more. Let's go to sharpen and then just slide to the right like that. And as you can see, it's increasing the texture there, the, 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 the clarity of it. It looks a lot more... It looks a lot more like a paper texture when you bring that sharpness up to 80, 80 plus, 80% 80 plus like that. So I like how that looks right there. I'm going to leave that. And one final adjustment you can make. Let me tap on this and tap on it again to get back to the adjustments menu. You can adjust the color curves as well. Let's tap on curves and make sure you have gamma up here selected from this list. And I'm going to take this little node down here and just slide this to the right. And as you can see, the intensity of that paper texture is increasing as I change this. Now this is just a matter of personal preference. You don't have to do this if you're happy with how it looks at the moment. But I'm going to adjust this just a little bit like that. And I like how that looks right there. And I'm going to leave that just as it is. Let me zoom out. And let me uh, select my original layer down here. And as you can see, we have we have a paper texture that we can work with. We can now paint and draw uh, in this paper texture like that. And this, this can even work if you already have a design that you've drawn and you just want to lay a paper texture on top of it. All you have to do is just add that paper texture layer in there like that, like we did in this tutorial. So I think that should do it for this lesson. That is how you can go about applying a paper texture effect to your artwork using Procreate for the iPad. As always, thanks for watching.